might wait for me, but I want to make sure that I'm showing you guys correct form and making sure that you're not getting injured. Obviously, weight comes with form. Making sure that form is correct is should fall precedent. So here we go. It's gonna be a little bit of a voiceover. So listen closely. The key to deadlifting is most evidently your setup. So you want to make sure that your arms are about to the first gnarls of the barbell, aka when it starts to get grippy. And then you are going to use either a fully front grip or a reverse and a front grip. This helps me with balance, so I prefer to use it. As you continue to watch these videos, you can see that I am snapping into position. My back is locked and tight, and I am pushing up with my lower body and thrusting through a little bit with my glutes. Not only does this help you with a small rest at the top of your barbell path, but it also helps to build the glute muscles. I'm showing you two different types of deadlifts here, one being a conventional and the other one being a sumo. The two differences between these are basically A, form, and B, barbell path. So you're going to have a longer barbell path on the conventional deadlift, resulting in maybe a lower weight. However, the sumo deadlift is believed to be able to pull more weight because you have a shorter barbell path. On the sumo deadlift, you're obviously having a wider grip. But make sure, no matter what, that you are snapping into position, your back is locked, your shoulders are rolled back, and your chest is out. This will help you be able to pull more weight, but most definitely do not load the barbell up until you are comfortable with these movements. As you see on the up close, make sure that your knees are pushed out and you are never, ever bowing in. This can lead to a huge injury, and most definitely you do not want that. I hope that these few tips helped and watching the video helped. Continue to look at my working sets and you can see my form as I go heavier in weight. I'm now completely out of breath, but I'm going to start my working sets. So I'm going to keep this on just so you guys can see me in full action. Sorry for the awkward headshot. Quickly, I'm energized today with my lemon dessert BCAAs. Super good. I'm going to go now because this is awkward videotaping the gym because everyone's looking at me. <laughs> you only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Only know you've been high when you're feeling low. Only hit the road when you're missing home. You only know you love her when you let her go. What's up everyone? I just got out of the shower per usual. I got my new shirt from Gym Meme Wear. Seriously, so funny. I wanted to share with you guys, first off, how to correctly deadlift, so I hope that you learned something from that. But I also am gonna be doing this pinner test, and I kinda wanna see what's in it and if I can even do it right now. I've already ate this morning, so I don't know if you have to do it fasted, or kind of what it's for. Read instructions inside. Okay, so I'm just gonna open it. Comes in this little box. Here's the testing kit. Instructions. Has all this disclaimer. So basically, just liability. Pretty dummy proof. And if you guys didn't know, or if I didn't show you yet, this basically will help figure out food intolerances. So there's some foods obviously that people in their bodies digest differently than other people. So by the end of this, I'm hoping to figure out what foods I digest properly and what foods I should maybe shy away from within my diet that might cause digestive issues, bloating, etc. So I'm going, to, I'm going to text my teammate Lexi and see if you have to do this fasted. Like I said, I don't see anything, but it's really like making me nervous. I'm back. Wyatt's finally with me. I changed my shirt because I wanted to and I wanted to try this on. Jax is here to also help. I just got a text back from Lexi and you don't have to be fasted. Ooh, look at my hair. <laughs> you don't have to be fasted to do this, so I'm just gonna hit the ground running right now. I don't know if he should be in here because he can't. This is gonna be needles. I don't want him to try to eat the needle. Look at him. Give you half of a band aid. Just in case. Only half of it though. Oh, just kidding. It's one. I don't know if it'll focus. Yeah, it's one. 
I thought it was a little, I thought they ripped it in half. I thought they straight up ripped it in half. I'm like, that's nice. All right, so here's what we have. We have an alcohol swab. I don't know what this is yet. I haven't opened it. And then two little needle things. So step one, wipe your finger with the sterilized paper in your kit. I'm going to say that that's the alcohol swab. Open and prepare the blood collection paper. That must be what this is. So here's the blood collection paper. This is literally where your blood goes. Twist forward and pull the green stick from the dispenser and remove the entire stick. The needle is hidden, you will not see it. Place the thin part of the dispenser on your fingertip and press a button. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Here, hold on, let me clean it again. <laughs> just, it's literally gonna be nothing, and you know it's. Just oh, do it. I hate this. Act like you're, like mad. Allow oh, the droplets to fall. Onto what? What are you allowing the droplets to I fall? Hate this. Okay, well then get this ready. Frick, it is ready. Oh, they should have never sent this to me. Go, do it. Quick. I'm so. I don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. No. Go. <laughs> I can't. Okay, okay. I'm getting really hot. Let's just do it. Okay, hold on. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Are you gonna pass out on me? You put your legs on the ground. Put your legs on the ground. Okay. Like get them on the ground. I'm so okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh my god, I literally can't. Okay, hold on. One, two. <laughs> okay, let me clean it one more time. <laughs> Let me do it so you don't think about it. <clears throat> Go. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm so scared. You don't do it quick. Don't Hold ease on. into okay. it. Okay. I almost did it. I almost did it. Go. Okay. Oh, that wasn't even bad. Oh my god. Okay. Squeezing the blood. Ooh, that's, that's bleeding. Okay, that, that like low-key kind of hurts now. Well, yeah, no, it does. It doesn't hurt when it happens. That's it. I cleaned my fingertip. I'm real sweaty now. <laughs> but I promise it's not that bad. I'm just a baby. So what happens next is I'm going to go to work and cry because this hurts. <laughs> and I'm going to send it back into the pinner test company. So I fill out this form that I showed you guys, basically like the disclaimer, and they sent me a little postage, already pre-made, um, priority mail. So we'll see the results when I get back. I'm going to leave you guys with that because I think that was comical enough. See you guys on the flip side for more comical videos and when my finger is amputated.